ओके सो जय हिंद टू ऑल टुडे आई एम हियर टू एक्सप्लेन द टेक्निक्स ऑफ वर्चुअलाइजेशन ओके सो एक्चुअली दिस इज द टॉपिक ऑफ द सेकेंड यूनिट दैट इज द वर्चुअलाइजेशन टेक्निक्स सो हियर वी सी दैट व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट टेक्निक्स दैट कैन बी यूज टू वर्चुअलाइज आवर सिस्टम आवर सर्वर our computer machines so in continuation of this let us see what are these techniques so broadly these technique can be divided into two parts first software virtualization and the second hardware virtualization the software virtualization means uh, when we are going to use some uh, software kind of things or we can say when we are going to uh, write or yeah, we are going to use some uh, hypervisor or some uh, software that create the virtualization in our machine so as i have told you in the previous lectures that uh, virtualization means a techniques that enable you to run multiple operating system on a single host okay that means by using this technique you can run multiple operating system simultaneously on the same machine okay so basically there are the some softwares that can be used as a virtualization tool as a virtualization layer as a virtualization software by using this you can create your machine or yeah, you can run your machine in virtualized means a uh, state so in software virtualization there are the two type of virtualization full virtualization and you know full virtualization and uh, other is para virtualization here we can see that and in hardware hardware assisted virtualization okay so let us see the first one that is the full virtualization so the full virtualization in full virtualization all the non critical instructions are directly executed on the hardware okay means all the non critical instructions are directly executed by the hardware that means our instructions here in this case our instructions are divided in two parts critical and non critical okay what is the meaning of critical critical means the instruction control instructions okay behavioral instructions okay means the instruction that can stay that that can change the state of the you know stack that can change the you know uh, the internal organization of the computer that is known as the critical instructions that can change the you know securities all these instructions are known as critical instructions basically that are the control instructions and the behavioral instructions so that instructions we have to take care about that okay that that is not directly executed on the hardware in the case of full virtualization so non critical instructions are directly executed okay on the hardware and this point is very important critical instructions are discovered and replaced with traps into virtual machine monitor to be emulated by software that means we cannot pass critical instructions directly to the hardware because that may be dangerous that can change the state of uh, organization of the computers that can change the you know security Uh, of the system therefore non critical instructions are discovered that are trapped by the you know virtual machine monitor and then ye binary code is generated that is known as the binary emulation okay that means the, uh, that instruction the functionality of that instructions 
is simulated by binary code okay and that binary code is executed on the system okay that is the safe code okay that means that non -crit uh, sorry critical instructions are trapped by the means uh, vmm and then vmm generates some binary code that are equivalent to that particular uh, critical instructions and that binary code is uh, means uh, executed on the hardware so this is known as the vir full virtualization so both the hypervisor and vmm approach are considered as full virtualization uh, so lastly we have seen that uh, hypervisor and virtual machine monitor so these two approaches uh, uses this full virtualization techniques means uh, non critical instructions are directly executed by the hardware and critical instructions are discovered that is trapped by the you know virtual machine monitor and then binary code is generated equivalent binary code is generated that is known as the emulation process and that is uh, executed to perform the task of the critical instructions so why are only critical instructions are trapped into the vmm this question may arise in your mind why not non critical so uh, because you know that when some instructions are directly executed on hardware certainly that will be efficient that take less time but when you divide these instructions this execution in two process that means first instructions are captured by the you know that is uh, trapped by the vmm then vmm generate the binary code then that binary code is executed so this take times that will be time consuming that's why all instructions are not trapped by the vmm only critical instruction that may create problem that is only you know that is only uh, trapped by the vmm and binary code is generated for that uh, critical instructions only this is the only reason okay to make efficient the system so because binary translation can incur a large performance overhead so non critical instructions do not control hardware or threaten the security of the system as you know that that is the non critical that means there is no issue uh, uh, by executing that instruction on the hardware that cannot change some security paradigms that cannot change the organization of computer hardware so no problem that is that can be done uh, means uh, directly execute on the hardware therefore running non critical instructions on hardware not only can promote efficiency but also can ensure system security so this is the reason why critical instructions are trapped by the vmm and the binary code is generated for that and that is then executed on the hardware okay uh, so this process is known as binary translation full virtualization with binary translation why binary translation because uh, critical instructions are trapped by the vmm and the binary code are you know generated for that particular critical instructions binary code means the code that can perform the same task but in secure manner okay so this approach was implemented by the vmware and many other software companies as shown in figure we have seen we will see in the figure figure is this okay so this is the binary translation full virtualization as you know that cross 86 architecture processor architecture uh, in this uh, you know different softwares are different uh, software are kept in different rings what are rings rings means security levels different priority level is given to the different task so that is known as the ring ring zero most privileged task most privileged instructions are there ring one less than in comparison of ring zero then ring two ring three contain the least uh, you know uh, privileged instructions like user applications user application lie in this ring three okay that are assumed to be least uh, you know uh, means uh, uh, privilege privilege in the sense that uh, you know uh, that instructions should be taken care very carefully okay 
बिकॉज दैट मे क्रिएट सम प्रॉब्लम दैट मे क्रिएट चेंज हार्डवेयर दैट मे क्रिएट सम इंट्रैप्ट एट द रन टाइम सो दैट शुड बी केयर टेक एन वेरी केयरफुली सो रिंग जीरो रिंग वन रिंग टू सो इन दिस फुल वर्चुअलाइजेशन वर्चुअल मशीन मॉनिटर दैट मीन दिस इज वॉट दिस इज द वर्चुअलाइजेशन लेयर वर्चुअलाइजेशन लेयर या यू कैन से दैट दिस इज द वर्चुअलाइजेशन सॉफ्टवेयर दैट लाई इन द रिंग जीरो ओके दैट इज द मोस्ट प्रिवलेज पार्ट ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर वर्चुअलाइजेशन then guess uh, oh yes as you know that when we talk about the virtualization that means hardware is there hardware then on the top of hardware virtualization layer then on top of that guest operating system number of guest operating system are there and each and every guest operating system run individual applications that form the virtual machine this package which package guest OS along with application form the virtual machine. So there are the number of virtual machine that are sitting on the same host machine and perform and uh, execute independently in isolated manners. Okay. So here we can see that uh, this uh, user application. Okay, that means non-critical instructions. are directly executed direct execution of user request on the host hardware but critical instructions are you know identify the guest identify by the guest operating system and that is trapped by the vmm that is not directly executed there the two phase that critical instructions are trapped by the vmm then vm vmm generate the binary code this is known as the binary translation of os and then that is executed on the hardware so this is the concept of binary translation so this approach was implemented by the vmware and many other software companies so as we have seen in the figure vmware put the vmm at ring 0 and the guest operating system at ring 1 the virtual machine monitor layer is scan the instruction stream and identify the privileged control and behavior sensitive instructions these three instructions are known as critical instructions okay which one privileged instructions control sensitive and behavior sensitive instructions so when these instructions are identified then they are trapped into the vmm when vmm identify these instruction that are trapped by the vmm which emulate the behavior of these instructions the method of used in this emulation is called binary translation okay the equivalent binary code are generated for the critical instructions therefore full virtualization combine binary translation and direct execution both this is the direct execution means direct execution for the non critical instructions and binary translation for the critical instructions so an alternative virtual machine architecture for full virtualization is the host based virtualization as we know that in the previous lecture we have told you that uh, architecture of the you know virtualization so there we have told you that there are two type of architecture na bare metal that is known as the native architecture and the hosted ha na host hosted os architecture so uh, these these are the these are the definitions that can be used on the bare metal architecture okay bare metal architecture means there the hardware at the bottom then on the top of hardware virtualization layer then on the top of virtualization layer different guest operating system are running this architecture is known as native architecture okay there is no role of the host operating system but hosted architecture is there is a role of host operating system means bottom there is a hardware on top of hardware there is a host operating system 
देन ऑन टॉप ऑफ हॉस्ट ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम वर्चुअलाइजेशन लेयर इज क्रिएटेड बाय द वर्चुअल मशीन मॉनिटर और हाइपरवाइजर देन ऑन टॉप ऑफ दैट नंबर ऑफ गेस्ट ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम रनिंग इन द आइसोलेशन मोड सो दिस फुल वर्चुअलाइजेशन कैन बी जनरेटेड ऑन बोथ आर्किटेक्चर ओके यू कैन क्रिएट दिस टेक्निक ऑन द नेटिव आर्किटेक्चर बेयर मेटल एज वेल एज यू कैन क्रिएट दिस ऑन द हॉस्ट बेस आर्किटेक्चर आल्सो सो वेन यू इंप्लीमेंट दिस ऑन हॉस्ट बेस आर्किटेक्चर दैट इज नोन एज हॉस्ट बेस वर्चुअलाइजेशन ओके सो एन अल्टरनेटिव वी एम आर्किटेक्चर इज ऑल्सो इंस्टॉल ए वर्चुअलाइजेशन लेयर ऑन टॉप ऑफ द हॉस्ट ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम दिस हॉस्ट ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम इज स्टिल रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर मैनेजिंग द हार्डवेयर ओके सो दिस हॉस्ट बेस्ड आर्किटेक्चर हैज सम डिस्टिंग एडवांटेज फर्स्ट द यूजर कैन इंस्टॉल दिस वी एम आर्किटेक्चर विदाउट मॉडिफाइंग द हॉस्ट ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम द वर्चुअलाइजेशन सॉफ्टवेयर कैन रिले ऑन द हॉस्ट ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम to provide device driver and other low level services this will simplify the vm design and ease its deployment okay second the hosted base ap approach appeal to many host machine configuration compared to the hypervisor or vmm architecture the performance of host based architecture may also be low okay so this means only that you can apply the full virtualization on the host based architecture also host operating system based architecture okay full virtualization let us see the advantages and disadvantages so when we talk about the advantages certainly there is uh, this is secure secure means emulation layer isolate vms from host operating system and other application okay so this is secure that means all the virtualization machine run in isolation what does it mean that means if there is any problem in one virtual machine that cannot affect other virtual machine just like suppose one virtual machine is infected by some virus some worm some trojan horse that cannot affect other virtual machines running side by side on top of virtualization layer so this is the beauty of this particular full virtualization technique then total vm portability what it mean that means the emulating hardware interface and guest operating system form a standard package that can be ported and run in any platform okay so these virtual machine can be ported okay other, other is the uh, run unmodified operating system this is also the characteristics of this full virtualization guest operating system do not aware of being virtualized okay as we have we will see in second type that is the para virtualization there you have to modify the you know operating system guest operating system means original guest operating system cannot support cannot create the para virtualized environment okay but here in the case of full virtualization there is no need to modify the guest operating system guest operating system as it is can run can create the full virtualization environment that means in this full virtualization guest operating system is not aware of being virtualized this is very important this advantage is the performance degradation in hosted full virtualization the performance degrade because certainly if all instructions are directly executed on the hardware that will be more efficient but here some instructions that is critical instructions control sensitive behavioral sensitive privilege instructions are trap then binary translation is created then that is executed on the hardware so hardware dependency in bare metal full virtualization to so bare metal if we use the bare metal architecture then there is certainly there is a hardware dependency also application of full virtualization let us see so host hosted full virtualization is used for desktop virtualization okay like microsoft virtual pc 
Oracle VM virtual box all these effect can be created by the using the hosted full hosted means the architecture is not bare metal architecture is the hosted OS architecture on which you are implementing the full virtualization okay bare metal full virtualization is used for the server virtualization this is very important that means when you are going to design the server data center okay then certainly you have to use the bare metal full virtualization okay and when you are uh, going to virtualize your desktop your uh, pc then you have to use hosted full virtualization so server virtualization is used in cloud computing okay as you know that server virtualization is used in cloud computing to create the data centers from where you can take the different type of services other software assisted virtualization technique is the para virtualization that is very important what is para virtualization para virtualization need to modify the guest operating system yahan pe modify karna hoga wahan kya tha there is no modification required but here guest operating system is modified so para virtualization vm provide special apis requiring substantial os modification in user application so this require this uses special type of apis okay interfaces performance degradation is a critical issue of the virtualized system here also performance degradation is there a uh, block diagram is shown here you can see uh, hardware is there then hypervisor or vmm virtualization layer is there then this is the para virtualized guest operating system para virtualized guest operating system that means guest operating system as it is not used there is some slight modification is there then different application can run on individual this guest operating systems para virtualization uh, same diagram you, you can see here hardware then host this is the this is the bare metal metal architecture okay this is bare metal full virtualization this diagram is there because hardware then uh, just of uh, means uh, on top of hardware hypervisor is there this is the hosted full virtualization why because this is the hardware then host os is used on top of host os hypervisor is used okay so this layer is introduced here this is why this is known as hosted full virtual virtualization techniques so guest operating system the modification all these there should be some modifications and then application can run on that so unlike the full virtualization architecture which intercept and emulate privileged and sensitive instructions at run time para virtualization handles these instruction at compile time this is the difference para virtualization handle these instruction at the compile time so the guest operating system kernel is modified to replace the privileged and sensitive instruction with hyper calls to the hypervisor or vmm like zen assume such a para virtualization architecture so here uh, privilege and sensitive means critical instructions are created in hyper calls at, at at compile time that is generated the hyper calls and that hyper call is a special api is okay and that api is executed on the hardware okay so the guest operating system running in a guest domain may run at ring 1 instead of ring 0 this implies that the guest operating system may not be able to execute some privileged and sensitive instructions the privileged instructions are implemented by the hyper calls to the hypervisor hyper call is the api some special apis after replacing the instruction with hyper call the modified guest operating system emulate the behavior of the original guest operating system so on an unique system a system call involve an interrupt or service routine the hyper call apply a dedicated service routine in zen 
सो इन डिफरेंट आर्किटेक्चर दिस हाइपर कॉल आर जनरेटेड एंड इन डिफरेंट वेज ओके सो ऑल दो पैरा वर्चुअलाइजेशन रिड्यूस द ओवर हेड इट्स इनकर्ड अदर प्रॉब्लम ओके दस पैरा वर्चुअलाइजेशन सर्टेनली द रिड्यूस द ओवर हेड इन कंपेरिजन ऑफ द फुल वर्चुअलाइजेशन बट हियर इज ऑल्सो सम डिसएडवांटेजेस सम प्रॉब्लम इज ऑल्सो देयर वट आर दैट फर्स्ट इट्स कॉम्पेटिबिलिटी एंड पोर्टेबिलिटी मे बी इन डाउट जस्ट लाइक इन एज यू यू हैव सीन इन फुल वर्चुअलाइजेशन यू कैन पोर्ट वी एम ओके बट हियर दिस इज नॉट सो ईजी टू पोर्ट द वी एम दैट मीन्स पोर्टेबिलिटी इज यूज देयर कॉम्पेटिबिलिटी कॉम्पेटिबिलिटी इज यूज देयर बिकॉज गेस्ट ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम एज इट इज कैन नॉट बी यूज देर शुड बी सम मॉडिफिकेशन फॉर वाट पर्पज टू मेक इट कंपेटिबल ओके सो सेकेंड द कॉस्ट ऑफ मेंटेनिंग पैरा वर्चुअलाइज ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम इज हाई इन कंपेरिजन ऑफ फुल वर्चुअलाइजेशन बिकॉज दे मे रिक्वायर डीप ओ एस कर्नल मॉडिफिकेशन ओके बिकॉज हियर इन कर्नल ऑफ द गेस्ट ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम इज मॉडिफाइड Finally, the performance advantage of the para virtualization varies greatly due to the workload variation. So that depend on the workload. Okay, compared with the full virtualization, para virtualization is relatively easy and more practical. The main problem is in full virtualization is its low performance in binary translation. To speed up binary translation is difficult. therefore many virtualization products employ para virtualization architecture the popular example are the zen kvm vmware esx all these are the good example of the para virtualized uh, computation then let us see the vmware esx server for virtualization para virtualization let us see the some uh, special case that is the case of VMware ESX server. So actually VMS, uh, this VMware, as you know that that is pioneer in the, the uh, software market for the virtualization. The company has developed virtualization tools for desktop system, for the server system, as well as the virtual infrastructure for large data centers. Okay, this ESX is a VMM or a hypervisor for bare metal. Cross eighty six uh, SMP symmetric multi processing servers. It access hardware resources such as input output directly, and has complete resource management control. And ESX. Okay, so let me uh, thanks. Uh, the remaining part we will cover in the next class. Thank you.